sap green shade for the down part of the lotus. Down part of the lotus, direct sap green. I mean the leaf part. Okay, but when you do on the fabric, what happens? The fabric absorbs the paint. So the blending becomes difficult uh, without doing the base coat. So is why we do the base coat first and then do the, if you're doing florals and all, no, it is not necessary. The freehand ones. The one we do it this way in the Tanjo style, you will need the base coat. Mm. Otherwise the paint starts absorbing to the cloth and you will not be able to do the blending properly. Okay, so after this, you can mix a little bit of brown or if you don't have brown, you can mix a little bit of black into the sap green to give it a little darker tone to show the depth, to show the depth for the leaves. We'll be changing the tone. Okay, now it shows the difference. See, they generally ask me, why can't we do it with a pen that we get outlining? Because that is, they say it is, you know, waterproof, that pen and all. But when you use on the fabric, that will easily, you know, fade off. So it's not recommended to use a pen for this. Use an acrylic color and a brush only to do the outlining. The finishing will be nice if you do it, you know, with the base coat always. And the blending is very easy to do. So for the stem, you can give the highlights here and there using little, this little darker shade. Okay, for this also, in case if you you know, just want to keep it this way, you can keep it or you want to highlight with, the, with a 3D outliner for the entire lotus and this one also, you can do it. But I feel painting should look just like a painting only, then it looks nice. If you do it with a 3D outliner, that effect will go off for the lotus and all that. So you can just keep it the way it is. It looks nice.
So okay, after this, for the cow, what we'll be doing is we need to completely base coat it. I mean to say, see, if you can see here and there, you can see the white spaces. We don't want it to be seen. I mean, the fabric is seen, so it has to be completely filled with white. Okay, before that, we'll finish off the shading for the uh, leaves. Sorry, sap green and uh, black shade. Say three fourth of uh, sap green. Uh, just a little bit of in the in your tip of the brush, take a little bit of black in that and mix it with the sap green. Okay, so this outlining is there, no? You have to do it with this dark shade. When you give this outlining, it enhances the flower, uh, I mean the leaf shape. This way, in this parts, you can just make the small strokes. Okay, so this way, applying white to the complete cow, only leaving in the parts where we'll be doing the stonework and the gold part. Rest everywhere, I'm applying white. Now to this white, in the same brush, I'm taking burnt thinner. Okay. Only in the edges for the cow, I'm using burn senna and making little thick lines. See, when you see this burn senna, it looks brown, but when it's applied on the fabric, it, it's giving you a little yellow shade. Okay, so this is the shade that we would need for the cow. Okay, keep the line little thick. Now, after making the line this way, just wash your brush neatly. Always before blending, you need to wash the brush with very little water in your brush. Half brush on top of the dark color and half on top of the white color. Start blending it and bring the color a little inside so that it's not like really white. It has a little of yellow tone into the cow's body also okay so the same way we'll be doing it for the rest make a little thick line wash the brush and blend it Again, one more coat of dark shade for the outlining I'm giving. I don't like the cut crease line. So always, you know, when I make the lines, I make sure I just give it a little blend on the edges so that it doesn't look like, you know, straight line kind.
Okay, then again, washing my brush and blending the color. Now again, I'm taking the direct burns in her and giving the outline. For the cows, usually it is burns in her or the gray shade that they use. It's up to your choice, whichever shade, because as I've given uh, gray for Jagannathji, I'm using burns in her here. So if you want to use gray only for this cow, what you need to do is base coat with white, then mix a very lighter shade of gray. Same as I told you, make a thick line, wash your brush, blend the color. Okay. Then after that, direct outline with a little darker shade of the gray. So it gives you a gray toned cow. Blending of all the rough edges. Okay, so for the horns now, I am making gray shade. Only in the tip, I'll be using black. Now for the gray shade, again, black and white. For this part, I'm using direct black. As coming towards down, I'm just blending that black into the gray. Just make a circle, bring the color down. The edges I'm giving the black outline. 